Hi, how you doing? My name is Locke. I'm from 2MCCTV.com. Today I'm going to talk about troubleshooting a PTZ camera. Now as you can see, um, most of the issues we get about PTZ camera is people can't move their, they, they can't control their PTZ camera with the controller or with their DVR. And when you're having this issue, it's pretty easy to troubleshoot. So look at the diagram right now. We have to look at what could cause the camera not to move. So, what could cause the camera not to move is, uh, for example, is the, you know, if the baud rate and the, you know, protocol and the ID doesn't match what's, uh, if the, if that on the controller doesn't match the camera, it's not going to control it. And we have to check our RS-485 wire. So, when I'm trying to troubleshoot these, that's the first thing I check. I check what's the settings on the PTZ camera. Um, you could check it by looking at the dip switches or what I like to do is I just unplug the power for the PTZ camera and plug it back in and once the camera initializes it'll, it'll usually give you the baud rate protocol and the ID of the camera so that's the first step so let me go ahead and write that down for you So once you check the setting for a PTZ camera, the next thing we want to do is look at what what's controlling. Are we using our DVR or are we using our PTZ controller? And you know, go to your PTZ controller or your DVR, whatever you're using, and check the setting on it. So you want to check if the baud rate matches the one on the camera. So if I have baud rate 2400 protocol Pelco D on my PTZ camera dip switches. I want to make sure my DVR or my PTZ controller is set to baud rate 2400 and set to Pelco D protocol. And I also want to see if the, my controller is uh, on ID1. So it's, it's so but the ID1 is just uh, to identify the actual camera. So if there's multiple PTZ camera, I have ID1 for one camera, ID2 for another. And on the controller, I have to tell the controller to, uh, you know, move a certain one by the ID. So make sure those three settings match the camera. So once you're absolutely sure that the setting match on the camera, the last thing that could go wrong is the actual RS-485 wire. Make sure the wire didn't get cut or make sure it's in there um, tight and didn't get loosened up or anything like that. So let me go ahead and write the steps down. And these, usually these are the bait on three steps that you can do to troubleshoot the uh, issue of a PTZ camera. And this basically covers everything when it comes to a PTZ camera not moving. I mean, if you go through all these three steps and still doesn't work, um, usually it's going to be a hardware issue with the actual camera itself or the PTZ controller. Um, and those, it's, it's going to be pretty tough to tr troubleshoot but in a scenario if you have a DVR with a um, RS-485 connection and you have a PTZ can you have your, but you have your camera hooked up to a PTZ controller to check if the controller is good or bad um, you could switch the RS-485 to the DVR and see if the DVR could control the PTZ uh, camera and if it doesn't then we know the camera is bad but if it does we know the controller is bad. So it's pretty much that simple. Um, make sure you come back and check out our other videos on our YouTube page. And um, visit our website at www.2mcctv.com. And I want to thank y'all for watching the video again. Y'all have a great day. Bye.